How to make chicken burrito bowls. First up, you want to take a large gallon sized bag and put a pound and a half of skinless boneless chicken thighs inside. Mix with two tablespoons of chipotle and adobo sauce with some sauce that adds extra kick. A half a lime or about a eighth of a cup of lime juice. Two, tables, two tablespoons of oil. One teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of garlic powder. Half teaspoon of cumin. One teaspoon of oregano. And salt and pepper to taste. You want to let this sit for roughly 24 hours, which is why I did mine in advance. Mine's been sitting for just over a day. Coat a large skillet with about a tablespoon or two of oil. Carefully remove your chicken from the bag and cook on one side for about 8 to 10 minutes. Cook on one side for about 8 to 10 minutes. On medium so you don't burn it. While our rice is cooking, we're gonna, well I mean while our chicken is cooking, we're gonna move over to our rice. Heat about a tablespoon of oil in your pan and add one cup of rice. Toast for about three to four minutes until golden. Be careful not to burn it. Going back to our chicken real quick, when you've cooked it for about eight to 10 minutes on one side, carefully flip it over and cook for another uh, eight minutes on the other side. Back to our rice mixture, when it's nice and golden, you're going to mince three to four cloves of garlic and add it to your rice and toss it for another minute just to get everything all married and mixed together. Once you've stirred your garlic and your rice for a minute, you're going to add two cups of chicken broth to your rice. Once you've added your two cups of chicken broth, you're basically going to cook this according to package directions. Basically, you just put a lid on it, let it boil, turn it down to a simmer, and let it cook for about 20 or so minutes until all the liquid is gone. When your chicken is fully cooked and no longer pink inside, transfer it to a cutting board and let it cool down until it is safe to cut. Now it's time to move on to our salsa. Add two cups of diced tomatoes to a large bowl. And now it is time to cry because we have to cut about half of a large red onion. Dice and add to your bowl. I'm not crying, you're crying. Mince three large cloves. I have four because some of them are a little small and add it to your salsa. Add an eighth teaspoon of cumin to your salsa. Roughly chop up about a fourth cup of cilantro and add it to your salsa. Add salt and pepper to taste. Give everything a real good stir. Let your salsa rest in the fridge until you're ready to eat. When your rice is fully cooked, you are going to roughly chop up three tablespoons of um, cilantro and add it to your rice. To this, you are also going to add two tablespoons of lime juice. Give this a real good stir. Set your rice to the side until we're ready to eat. When your chicken is cooled down and safe to cut, cut into bite-sized pieces. Now put your chicken pieces into a medium-sized bowl and set it with everything else. I also rinsed and drained a can, uh, one 14 ounce can of black beans. Now as far as assembling your burrito goes, you want to add some rice, beans, chicken, Salsa, some lettuce, and you can top it with whatever you'd like. I'm going to put cheese and sour cream on top. Enjoy.